What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Kai from Kung Fu Panda 3. Let's begin today's lesson by adding some guidelines to help us with the symmetry of our drawing. We we'll start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. So start at the very top. It's gonna lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Now let's move to the center and draw another line going across from left to right. So we'll start with the left side and then we'll extend that out towards the right. Now from here we're gonna start blocking out the basic shapes of the head. Let's start with the top edge of the helmet. Starting from the center, draw a straight angle line going up and out towards the left to right about there. And we'll do the same thing on the right, drawing that same length line. Now from the ends, we're just gonna angle this up and in toward the top. And then we'll follow this same angle line coming down from the left side towards the center line. And then pull that up towards the right. Now you want to curve the rest of the helmet coming in. So from this point, we're going to go up and then bend that in towards the middle. And do the same thing on the right, going up towards the same height. Now let's close off the top with a slight curve. We're going to go up and then bend that back down. Now from here, we're gonna work our way down the side of the muzzle towards the nose. From that center point, let's step over towards the left, angle this down and out, to right about there. Go over towards the right and do the same thing. Now you wanna close off the bottom with a straight line. Let's leave a gap in the center and draw the top of the nostril. We're gonna step over towards the left, curve this up and out, round out the nostril, and then bring that down towards the bottom. To right about there. Let's move over towards the right side and do the same thing, going up and then down. Now let's close off the bottom with a straight line. And then from here we're going to push the jaw forward. From the bottom corners, we're just going to bend this out and then down to the bottom edge of the mouth. Come down. I'm going to bend that up toward that center line. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's draw on the bottom of the chin. From the bottom corners of the mouth, curve this down and in, and then bend that up toward the center. Now while we're down here, we're gonna add that twisted beard in the center. Let's step over toward the left, come down and across toward the middle, and then bend that back out towards the left. Now from the bottom, we're just gonna bend this around and then back up on the right side of the chin. Let's go back up and draw two ovals for the nostrils. We're gonna start on the left side. It's gonna go all the way around. And then line this up over on the right. Now let's go back up to the top and draw on the eyes. From the top of the muzzle, we're gonna step down, add a curve. We're gonna go up the middle and then back down. Let's round out the top of the eye. On the left side, go up and then bend that out. And then do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna draw on the bottom of the eye. Starting back over on the left, come down, round up the eye, and just pull that up on the inside. Let's add a fold underneath. On the left side, we're gonna step out, put the curve underneath the eye, and then back up against the side of the muzzle. Now we're gonna add those two straps coming down the side of the hat. Let's start on the left side at the very top, step in, come down, and then bend that out. Just gonna round out the bottom and pull that back in. Now let's go to the outside. I'm just gonna taper this all the way down towards the bottom point. Now just along the inside of that strap, I'm just gonna curve the jaw, coming down, and then just bend that in towards the side of the mouth. Now going back to the eyes, we're gonna tuck the iris and pupil underneath the eyelid. Let's start over on the left side. So we come down with a half circle, and then bend that back up towards the inside. And then we'll line that up on the right. Now from here we move out to the side and draw those two horns. Let's start from this point, curve this down, 
put that center line, and then bend that up towards the side, and do the same thing on the right. Let's taper this back in towards the side of the head. This gets thicker as we come in. Now let's place the ears underneath those horns. From here, we're gonna step out, come down and out, round up the ear, and just pull that in towards the side. And now we're gonna add some guides for the hair just underneath the head. Let's start on the left side, come down and in, and do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna go underneath the horns, bend the hair going around, and then just bend that in towards the bottom. Now let's place those two large horns along the side of the head. From this point, we step down, bend this out, and then go up toward the top of our page. Let's line that up on the right, going out and then up. Let's go to the bottom edge of the hat and draw that same curve, going out and then up. Now that we have a rough sketch, let's go back and erase these guidelines. Now that we have a clean rough sketch in place, let's go back and add a second level of detail and refine our lines. We're going to start by adding some shape across the top edge of the mouth. Let's start on the left side. I'm just going to bend this in and across towards the right. Round at the bottom, go up and out towards the side. Let's add that fold along the inside of the nose, across the nostrils, and also pulling the inside of the nostrils coming down. And go back and enhance that brow. Also raising up the right eye a little bit higher to give it some more expression. And then lowering the left brow. And go ahead and start adding in the teeth. Let's start with those two large fangs along the corner of the mouth. Let's add some guides from the bottom row teeth, the smaller teeth along the inside. And the teeth along the top. And again, just adding some more shape to the mouth. Give the hat a slight bend along the bottom edge. And rounding up the side of the hat. And we'll continue to add some more detail. Let's add those studs across that bend from the center. And along the bottom of the hat. And then just adding a little bit of texture to the horns. These curves going across, also across the large horns. I'm just adding a guide for that texture. And now we're going to go back and start darkening up our contrast and adding more detail. So I'm going to start in the eye area and then work our way out. Darken up the pupil, going around that highlight. And then we're going to add a light shade to the outside of the iris.
And now we're just gonna add a light fur texture along the outside of the nostrils. Just with these small curves, pulling these in. Pulling around, and just adding that fold along the inside. And adding some fur across the middle, with these lines going up. And we'll trace out the nostrils. Darken up the inside. Let's go back and remove some of those guidelines underneath. And we'll continue with our drawing. I'm just going to separate out the teeth. And then we'll darken up the inside of the mouth. Now I'm just going to trace out the lower lip, up to the bottom out toward the right side, and we'll just curl this in towards the side. And we'll just lightly add a shade on the inside. Now continue to add that fur texture along the chin, just pulling this in, going across the middle, and then go back and work our way around the hat. I'm just going to continue to trace out our contours before we get into some shading. I'm just adding that same fur texture across the ears. I'm just going to lightly trace out that goatee, also the hair along the bottom. And now I'm going to start to add some shading coming down from the helmet across the top of the head. So start off dark along the top and just fade that down towards the brow. Passing a shadow from the straps across the side of the head. So again, just fading those in. And 
and now working that shadow across the bottom of the eyes. Let's darken up the top of that goatee and just fade that down to an even shade. And it'll go back and add some texture for those braids along the inside. Starting along the left, it's going to curve these down and in. And from the right side, we'll just go up. And I'm just going to add a shadow to the top of the ears and fade that down. Also adding some texture of fur along the inside. I want to give these horns some shape, so I'm just going to add a shadow just across the bottom, leaving a little bit of a highlight rim just on the edge. I'm going wider as it come in, and then just blending that out. I can go back and just layer those textures inside. Let's shade the bottom of those large horns and then fade that up. And then along the top, we're going to start that shadow a little bit lower to create a bit of a highlight and then fade that down. I can go back and just add those stripes inside. Just darken up the straps across the top and then fade those down. And we'll add an even shade to the top of the helmet, going around those studs. Darken up the outside and fade that in. I'm just going to add some rough detail to the body. Start with a dark shadow just underneath the chin, 
and then fading that down. And it'll add that texture of the hair coming down. Starting off dark along the top and just sweeping that down. I'm just going to fade that texture out towards the side of our page. I'm just going to add some of that hair coming across the top of the head from the back and just sweeping that over towards the left. towards the right, just layering that in behind. As you get near the end of our drawing, we'll continue to add some more textures and fur detail, and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Kai from Kung Fu Panda 3. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please give this video a like and share it with all your friends. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.